today I'm gonna to show you how you can go to the store and buy one fancy tomato plant, a special type that you may not be growing, and take one tomato plant. Before you know it, you can end up with two, three, five, ten, all from the one purchase you did. And you can be growing a ton of tomatoes on your favorite type, all from the single plant you bought. And I'll show you exactly how to do it and how easy it is and how you trim them, how you plant them, and how you get them going. And you will have all that again from the single cost of the first tomato plant. So I bought the plant for $1.49 at the 99 cent store on January 26th and I planted it out in this pot on February 16th. But we were still freezing at night. We were in the 30s, low 40s, so I decided to wait. And I did cover it with a flag on cool nights. And we're gonna go through the documentation on everything I did. And you saw me plant this with leaves, kitchen scraps, and irrigation tubing to get this plant going. So the plant is finally starting to grow. We are still in like 44 degrees at night. Gonna trim off the bottom leaves, but look at this. See this side shoot? Right here, this one is already trying to grow fruit, which is fine, but I want that. I'm gonna cut this, and I'm gonna make this one into a brand new plant. I might do it to these down here. It might leave them a little longer, another week, and then I'll make that into a brand new plant too. These I'll trim off, and I'm gonna leave the two liters coming up right now. See, just the way it is. So I got my scissors, and now I'm gonna show you, we're gonna go take that branch off, and we're gonna make a new plant out of it. These are too small, but this one I can make a plant out of. So we're gonna trim that right to the to the end. This is, these are leaves. See, these are leaves. Let me see if you can see. A leaf is different, but this is a shoot, see? This is another plant. So we're gonna take that off. We don't need another leader. Cut off right. That's it. And we'll cut her off. The leaf, we don't need the leaf. We'll just leave the leaves out of that. Now, we've got this. Now, we're going to go root this and have another plant. Now, though you can put them directly in soil, I have found that it's better to just get them started in some water. And once you see those roots, it doesn't take long. It's a matter of days. They're ready to go into soil. And yes, you can use plain old tap water for this. It's loaded with roots now. So now we better go get some more cuttings because this one's going to get planted soon in the garden. So I've left this flag on here just to protect it from the winter because we still had cold nights, but I think we're okay. So I can take the flag off. I could pull it up over the plant a little bit, the base of the plant, if I needed it. So now we're done with this flag. Now here's what's going on here. I have a side shoot coming up here, too close to the ground. I like to have a lot of airflow. I've got another one coming up in here. See this? And there's another one back here. I don't mind this one coming up here. And I'll trim off anything that's a little yellow, and I'll do it with the scissors. You don't want to damage the trichomes. That protects the plant. But if you scrape it, sometimes things can get in there, you know, infections or something. So you don't want to scrape too much of that because this is very, very important for the plant. This doesn't grow roots. What it does is it protects the plant from, well, insects, except for hornworms, we know. They're immune to it. So we're gonna get off some of these and then we're going to leave any of the top ones. There's another one coming up here. I believe I'm gonna leave that one, we'll see later. This is gonna give me a lot of new plants. So I'm gonna to try to do this using two hands and holding the camera at the same time. So this is the one that grew roots in the house. This is one we picked a little bit ago. I could take that leaf off, I'm gonna leave it. And I use spice bottles. So if you've got any spice bottles you ever buy, keep those, whether they're glass or plastic, they work really good. A little tip, if you're using a plastic one, throw some rocks in there so it gives a little weight so it won't tip over. Glass is heavier, otherwise it doesn't matter. Now what we wanna do is get way, way down there. See this one right here? We're gonna take that right off, almost to the trunk. This is beautiful. Now what is growing on here are tomatoes. We do not want this little cutting to grow tomatoes. So we're gonna take that little bit off. We can, 
we could take a little bit more off and I'm gonna take off another leaf because the leaves are gonna draw water, but you need some greenery. So we're gonna take this one and we're gonna pop this one in the jar with this one right now to keep it well hydrated. Notice how dark these stems are. Isn't that interesting? And the first one wasn't coming from the bottom. They're darker. All right, and let's see, we've got a leaf here. It's not doing much. You can take that off. Oh, it's got some damaged leaves here. Take off the damaged leaves. It doesn't need it. I really want good airflow. I'm gonna take another leaf off up here. Just leaf. I'm gonna compost those leaves. Now here, same thing. Let me see if I can do this where you can see. Probably not. I'm gonna get way down there and take it off. Okay, take that leaf off too. Same thing here. We're gonna remove this leaf and everything. And we're gonna remove this complete leaf. Again, it is trying to grow tomatoes. We do not want that. Not for this one, because we don't want to grow tomatoes on this. We want this to root. Rooting is very important. And for now, I could leave it, or I could take a couple more leaves off. You know what? Let's take off a little bit of this leaf. You don't have to take the whole leaf. And you know what? I think we'll even take that off. That's plenty to help this plant grow. And then we'll see from there how it goes. And back into the jar it goes. Let's see if we've got any other cuttings. I do, I've got a big one back here. Here's another one, we don't need this one. Take this off, same thing. Um, take part of that leaf, leave a little bit there. Take a little bit off there. And again, we have another one trying to grow tomatoes. Now I could leave it if I want, but it's already growing tomatoes on the top and I'd like to get this plant taller and leave really good airflow. This also gives me access to do a lot of different things down here. Let me move this so you can see. What I can do in here is I can help feed the plant. I can put another two system in here. It's a very small container and it keeps good airflow. Again, we're going to pop this one in the jar with the others. And the other one with roots is ready to plant. Let's see if there's any more. Wow, I'm gonna get a lot of plants off of this. There's another little leaf that's not that great. Let's see. And that's just leaves. I've got one more back here I think I will take off. Now I got a nice clean plant. Look how big this is, isn't that cool? This will be great. We're gonna take all these little leaves off. Don't need it. Take this one off completely and that little side shoot trying to grow, we don't need it. And again, I know it's very hard, but we don't want this little new plant to try to grow tomatoes. And let's take that leaf off there. Now we just stick this in a window. Oh, that's probably a little tomato it's trying to grow. This is just leaves. If it looks like it's struggling, if they're too big, you can always take more of the leaf off, but just make sure you leave a little bit of greenery that's it. Now we're going to stick that in the jar with that. I think that's pretty good. That's a leaf back there. There's another one here, but I might leave this one because this one is going to grow through my trellising here. So this will be good. And look how tall this plant's gotten in the past couple weeks. See, these are all tomatoes starting. I've got more here. And this way, look how nice this can breathe. Isn't that beautiful? And we can put some mulch down here. We can use leaves, we can use grass, we can use anything we want. I will mulch this soon. I don't, I'm not a big mulcher and I should, I should mulch more. I'm not doing anything with those because I'm not sure if I planted a flower in here. So I'm gonna wait. I probably didn't, but there it is. Now this plant is doing really good. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And I can trellis it with my yarn as it goes up and hopefully we'll have tomatoes pretty soon. Remember, this is a large type tomato. This is the brandy wine, and it is a large tomato, so it's gonna take a whole lot longer. I can show you a tomato plant that I planted early on the same time that already has tomatoes, and we'll go over there for a second, and I'll show you why. Now here is a tomato that did come up from seed, and I did plant it in here, but look at this. It's already full of tomatoes, not only that, I'm going to get my first tomato off as soon as I want it. Why? Because they're cherry tomatoes. See how small they are? But so what? I'm gonna get tomatoes far sooner on this one than I ever will on the brandy wine. 
because small tomatoes get to their size right away, and as soon as they get to their size, they turn red. The brandy wine, on the other hand, has to get really big, and it's not going to start to turn red until it gets the proper size. So like I always say, get some cherry tomatoes growing, small type tomatoes, so this way you have tomatoes while you're waiting for your super big prize to turn red. Just in case something gets it before you do, you'll be eating cherry tomatoes. Hmm, more tomatoes. So easy to trellis this way. And the irrigation tubing, this holds us so steady. See how it's zip tied in? You can go back and watch the video. This has been the biggest lifesaver. Between tool, when I need it, and irrigation tubing, and of course my totes, but this is actually in a simple flower pot. So now let's get the one planted that's got the roots. It's ready to go. Let's see, it's this one. See the roots on it? Get that one in there. These have to stay in water now for a week or two until they get roots. This one, all I need is some potting soil. You can use potting soil, you can use soil from another tote if you know it's clean. Now what I'm going to do is gonna stick a, anything I use, forks and spoons and everything. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it all the way down in there. Just like that, See, way down, get all those roots under the soil and give it a good push. You want to make sure it's making really good contact with the soil because if it doesn't there's an air pocket there your cutting could die and just push it down really good i could take this leaf off too at this point it doesn't need this it's not doing any good because there's going to grow all this new growth on the top and add in a little bit more soil I can put kitty litter or anything on top. We're just gonna go with soil right now. And then the next thing you wanna do is give it a little water. It's got drain holes on there, you see? And I labeled it so I will remember that it's brandy wine, it's a cutting, and I planted it in April. Now I'm gonna water it. And the other thing I'm going to do for now, because I wanna make sure it stays wet, I'm gonna use another cup like I do all the time. I'm gonna just drop it in there so it retains a little water. And now, I'm going to just put it in here with everything else. And keep an eye on it. That's it. Until it takes root, probably another week or two, and it gets a little more size to it, I will have it ready to go in the ground. Though, if I really wanted to and I cater to it, I could put it in the ground right now. So I hope I've shown you how easy it is to make more tomatoes out of your tomato plant. So with that, have a wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Hey, she didn't even do anything today. She just shows up now. Looky, looky. I'll give her a little piece. She had purple broccoli for breakfast. I went and picked some in the garden, and we had eggs. Hold on. Purple sprouting broccoli. Right now we have an overabundance of purple sprouting broccoli, which is really good because that has turned out to be one of Kitty's favorites, my Yorkie. So I made it into like an omelet, scrambled egg more, and there she is eating it. And what was so funny is when I walked away, she stopped eating. She wanted the camera on her. I am starting to wonder about her, but she loves it. And I will admit that she does pick around, get the best parts out, and she doesn't always eat the dry dog food, which has been soaked, but... You know what? She's really into good food. She knows best.